Hi, and welcome to this PractiTest tutorial video, where we will show you how to integrate test automation with PractiTest. This video will use a simple automation script created in Selenium, but the same protocol applies for any other automation tool or even a continuous integration solution. So here we go. Let's start with a simple Selenium script written in Ruby. In this example, our test is geared to have Selenium open a Chrome browser and conduct a Google search of the term PractiTest, as you can see by the steps here. Then we define that if search results lists PractiTest in third placement, the test result is good and test status is passed, while any other placement result is bad and test status is fail. This last part of the script is the section that will populate PractiTest with the test steps and run results via the PractiTest API. These results are made up from this URL to upload to and the unique API token. To get this API token, we go to our PractiTest project into Account Settings and go to API Tokens, click to view and edit and copy the Automation API token for our script. If you don't have access to the account settings, ask your PractiTest account admin. Back to our script, here we see the API token. Next part of the upload script is specifying the test instance ID within PractiTest, which can be found in the test instances URL within PractiTest. Now that the script is ready, let's run it. As you see here, PractiTest appears in the first placement, which is why the return on our run status is that our test result is bad. When we now go back to PractiTest into our test instance, we will see the results of this last run with status fail. And when we go into the instance details, we can see all the steps from our script have been populated into PractiTest as well, including their status. For more script examples and information on using PractiTest's API, visit our support page at www.practitest.com. For other PractiTest video tutorials, go to our YouTube channel. 